In this video, we're going to be explaining how to convert the multiplicity value of a part property into a value property that can be used in simulation. To show this, we'll create a parent system123 block and a child part ABC block with a part property between them with a multiplicity of 16. We're going to create a constraint block called part counter and then we will add the expression part count equals length of X. We'll go into the specification and change the language to Python. We'll use the icon parse and create parameters that is to the right of the constraint block to create our part count and X parameters automatically. We're going to update the parameters type. So we're going to drag part ABC as the type for X parameter. And then we're going to update the part count type from a real number to an integer. We'll update the multiplicity of the X parameter by changing it to asterisk, which means many. Then we'll drag the part counter constraint onto our block, which will be applying the constraint. We will right click our system one, two, three block and create a parametric diagram. We'll go ahead and check everything in the display parameters and properties pop up. We'll connect the part property part ABC to the X constraint parameter. We forgot to create a value property for part count. So we'll go back to our system one, two, three block and create that value property. Now that the part count value property has been created, we can go back to our parametric diagram and show it on the diagram and then connect it up to our constraint parameter part count. We'll do some quick reformatting and then we can go ahead and run this thing in simulation. You'll note that it may take a few seconds for the blocks and part properties to ungray out for that Python solver to solve for the first time. Once it does, you will be able to see that the 16 value goes to your part count value property. Note that you'll have to actually go up to your parametric diagram and click one time to automatically update it. The part count is going to change from 0 to 16 when you actually make this click to refresh. You can see me right clicking and removing some of the part properties beneath part ABC. This is going to change the multiplicity within simulation and then you will have a new updated part count for your value property. Now I'm going to stop the simulation and change the multiplicity from 16 to 6 so that it's just a little bit easier to see in the simulation window and we'll just show the output there. Hope this example helps.